In EU4, the Cambodian Dark Ages is a disaster that Khmer starts in, giving the nation a number of negative modifiers, such as negative prestige and negative stability. This disaster obviously weakens Khmer significantly. So the question is, how did this nation become so weak when it was one of the most powerful nations in the world a few centuries ago? Today, you are going to find this out. But first, 70% of you who watch our videos aren't subscribed, so if you like EU4 content, please consider hitting that button. And if this video gets a thousand likes, I'll consider making another video on the fall of Majapahit. To understand how this nation became so powerful, we begin by going back to the beginning in the 9th century. A man by the name of Jayavarman II was in charge of Khmer by overthrowing the powerful Java kingdom who were overlords of Khmer. He had a vision for his people, and declared himself a god-king. Over time, Jayavarman II managed to expand the Khmer Empire, and this trend of gaining territory was followed up by his successors. The next king to significantly change the path of Khmer and start to build obsessively was Yasovarman I. This man wanted to be remembered significantly, especially after his failed invasion of the neighbouring kingdom Champa. One inscription describes him as a lion man, he tore the enemy with the claws of his grandeur. His teeth were his policies. His eyes were the Veda. Yaso Varman set about building over a hundred monasteries. This man was reported to have leprosy, which many today speculate drove him to build and have a legacy after his death. Fast forwarding to the 12th century, as Khmer became stronger and brought more people into the empire, the god king at the time, Sura Varman II, started the Golden Age of Khmer and built Angkor Wat. During his reign, he made innovations in both art and architecture. Angkor Wat was the largest religious monument ever built and it was built to honour the Hindu god Vishnu. After the death of King Suravarman II, Khmer took a turn for the worst and went into a brief but violent period with weak god kings in charge. However, this would be stopped when the greatest king of Khmer would come into power, and he was known as Jayavarman VII, who was able to completely reverse the situation for the empire. The god king forced Champa out of Khmer and added to the work of his predecessors by building Angkor Fong. The king also built roads connecting the country, and this led to an increase in economic growth. He also changed the state religion to Buddhism. It's important to note that during the late part of the Khmer Empire, the religious issue in Khmer was back and forth, as they converted to Buddhism, then back to Hinduism, then back again to Buddhism, depending on who was in charge. There were three reasons for the rise of Khmer. Firstly, Khmer had an efficient tax system, which the nobles of the regions in Khmer collected and sent to the capital. Secondly, the Khmer people were excellent at managing water. They built canals, and used for water to produce a large amount of food. Finally, the kings were seen as gods, and therefore this absolute monarchy was massively respected in the earlier part of the Khmer Empire. The height of Khmer's capital city, Angkor, had a population size of over one million people. So what caused the fall of the Khmer Empire? Well sadly, sources between the 14th and 16th century are scarce, so it's not exactly known how the Khmer Empire became so weak. But there are a number of theories as to what happened. A few factors that could have potentially weakened the Khmer Empire, leading up to the Dark Ages of Cambodia, is firstly that climate change led to the water systems of Angkor being unmanageable and not working properly, since there was far more droughts and floods that occurred leading up to the Dark Ages. The people of Khmer had also started to practice a strict school of Buddhism known as Theravada, this led to the people of this religion not viewing the king as a god, and it undermined the system with large divisions in parts of society. A final potential factor is that Khmer lost power since its neighbours constantly attacked the country and took trade away from Angkor, leading to a reduction in wealth for the city. The Dark Age officially began when Khmer's powerful neighbour, Ayutthaya, captured the capital Angkor in 1431 and sacked the city. Although the Khmer king managed to take back the capital after Ayutthaya left, Angkor was defenceless, and so the king moved to a less vulnerable position. 
After the devastating defeat in Aitaya, and during the time of EE4, Khmer was powerless and was at the mercy of its neighbours. The Cambodian region stayed under the thumb of regional powers until the French came along in the 1800s, which is the end of the Dark Ages. So finishing off, in the game, are you able to turn Khmer around and make the Khmer Empire thrive once again by restoring Angkor in the game to its former glory? Thank you guys for watching and check out some of my other videos on history.